Hey YouTube, this is Tom at TM Aquatics and I hope everyone is doing great. It's been a few weeks since I've uploaded any new content on my YouTube channel, but my last video, it's doing fantastic. It's up to over 25,000 views and counting, which is great for this small channel. Now it was a tour of my fish room here, but I showed only my plecos. And in the next week or two, I'm gonna drop a new fish room tour but we're gonna show everything other than the plecos. And here's a quick montage of what you're gonna see. So be sure to check back for that new fish room tour video coming out very soon. Or better yet, hit the notification bell so you're the first to know when it goes live. Now this past week or so has been real exciting here at TM Aquatics for a couple of reasons. Number one, my YouTube channel surpassed 7,000 subscribers. Huge milestone. So I just want to give a huge massive shout out to each and every one of you. Your support, your views, your comments, it means the world to me, so thank you. It's also been exciting because I was contacted by a company called Pleco Ceramics. And Pleco Ceramics can be found on Instagram and Facebook, and they sell their products on e-commerce marketplaces such as eBay and Amazon. They make Pleco caves, Pleco hides, cichlid hides, things like that. Check this out. They reached out to me and they asked me if I would be willing to make an unboxing video and showcase some of their products. You dang skippy. I am right in the middle of rescaping two of my Pleco tanks here in the fish room so the timing is perfect. Now I don't know what's in this box. What I do know is this. It's a big box and it's a heavy box. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop this thing open and we're going to check out what Pleco Ceramics has sent. So stick around and let's get started. Okay, so I know the box isn't perfectly in frame. I'm gonna take everything out and set it to the side. We're gonna cut open into this box here. All right, YouTube, I've got the box opened up and all I can say is, holy cow, there is a lot of product, a lot of items in this box. So rather than a video showing me taking each item out one by one and opening up each item, in uh, interest of time and to make it a little more of an enjoyable experience for you, the viewer, we're going to go ahead, I'll take out all of these items, we'll lay them out on the table, we'll take a look at the name of each item, and then we'll circle back and we'll take all the items out of the package and take a closer look at each one of these items, and hopefully it makes for a quicker, more interesting unboxing video. But all I can say is, Pleco Ceramics, you hooked me up. Okay, I've got everything out of the shipping box, everything's laid out on the table. I'm gonna go ahead and open up each one of these boxes and then we'll take a close look at each item and how we might be able to use them in our fish tanks. Okay, so I have all of the items out of the box and I ended up hanging an extra aquarium light up above the table because it really shows off the amount of texture and detail in these products. So we're gonna go ahead and start down here and this item here is the tree trunk cave and uh, this opening here is probably for scale about four inches and uh, it's probably about eight inches in total length and maybe six inches uh, deep but it's got several different holes and this is going to be a great hide for you know catfish corridors are going to love going in there plecos are going to love going in there and even cichlids but very realistic look at the amount of detail and the different colors in here very realistic the um, I don't know I, I believe this is a ceramic hence the name pleco ceramics I don't think it's like a terracotta clay like some of the other pleco caves that you might see on the market but very sturdy and uh, well designed and well built this here is the snag and this looks like uh, maybe a root structure it's got three openings down on this end. Each one is about uh, maybe an inch to an inch and a half. 
and then the opening over here is probably about two and a half inches two and a quarter inches maybe and it's got a little opening on the other side again detail a lot of texture in the product down here is the scape log and this is about a one and a half inch opening maybe a one and three quarter inch opening total length about eight or nine inches and again just loads of, of texture on here in different colors and uh, again all of these I can see any catfish uh, go in any of these for you know getting out of the, the bright light uh, when they feel a little insecure or unsafe uh, plecos are gonna love them here's uh, probably my favorite just because I love pleco K's because I've got a lot of plecos uh, there's three different sizes large medium and small and what I like about them is they're more of a D-shaped cave, so they have a flat bottom. They rock a little bit, but they don't roll over like a round cave. So if you're using a bare bottom tank or a very minimal substrate, you're not going to have to wedge a couple of other caves alongside them or wedge them in between a couple of rocks. And again, the, the detail in the logs themselves just give it a really natural uh, look I mean look at this large one here it doesn't go anywhere so none of them really go anywhere they they, they stay in place which is great I have some round caves and I have to always put something up next to them to keep them from from rolling around but again very sturdy this one looks like about a two inch opening yeah maybe about an inch and a half and then this one here maybe about an inch and a quarter so all of these are going to be great um, I probably like the medium size the best for my high pan cistrus and my picoltias. Uh, the smaller one would be good for you know bushy nose and perhaps my zebra plecos. Next are the cichlid stones and there's a small and a medium and if I didn't know any better I would say these are just real rocks you know they look just like a rock you'd pick up out in a field somewhere but of course they're hollow and uh, they have two openings one on either side and a pistogrammas you know and those types of, of cichlids are gonna love going in here and, and perhaps spawning in these but also again good place for catfish corridors and plecos to get in and hide in so very nice very natural looking I mean you just look at the detail and the texture and the different colors of paint in here very 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 detailed um, these next uh, two, I'm really digging these. These are called the Aquarium Cave. This is the gray one, and then this is the brown. And look at that, just it looks just like real tree bark. Very, very natural. Now they're a D-shaped, so they got a perfectly flat bottom. So they're not going anywhere. And just really natural looking again with the texture and the different colors of paint and uh, very realistic so again catfish cichlids small fish trying to escape maybe a larger more aggressive fish plecos all of these items are just they look fantastic and uh, I am definitely gonna find a use for all of them as I mentioned earlier, I am going to be rescaping my L333 tank and I am going to try and incorporate as many of these products into that tank and uh, then I will circle back in a couple of weeks and uh, show you what it looks like. But for reference, let's go take a look at it right now and uh, I'll show you why we're going to be rescaping that tank. Okay, so here is my 40 gallon long L333 Pleco tank and I am going to be using all of those Pleco ceramic items in a rescape for these fish. The L333 is a very shy Pleco by nature and they like to have a lot of hiding places and as you can see, this tank just doesn't have it. So thanks to Pleco ceramics, I'm going to be able to transform this tank into an epic Pleco tank. And I'll be sure to circle back in a couple of weeks and showcase how this tank has been changed thanks to the help from Pleco Ceramics. All right, YouTube, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. But before I go, Pleco Ceramics was kind enough to offer all of my viewers a 15% discount. So if you're interested in any of the items that you saw in this video today, 
go ahead and click that link down below in the description and get 15% off. Thank you again to Pleco Ceramics. Now with that being said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. And if you have any comments, please post them down below. As always, I appreciate everybody taking time to watch one of my videos. And until the next time, we'll catch you later.